So, you want to learn how to rig Lego objects in Blender. First thing you're going to have to do is go to mechabricks.com and choose an object to rig. Once you've selected your model, like this awesome chicken mech that I found, go to File, Export, Export is .zmbx. Next, hop into Blender. Hit A, delete everything in your scene, then go to File, Import, .zmbx. Find your file and import it, then hit Delete to delete the empty. Next, click on N, click change the clip start to 1, and change the clip end to 100,000. Now you should be able to see your model perfectly fine from every angle. Next, hit 1 to go in the frontal view, shift A, find armature, and click on it. Hit tab, hit A, now you're in op edit mode and can rig your object. GZ to move the bone up, and place it as close to the center as you can. And also hit Viewport Display, click in front, and I should be able to see it at all times. Click this and try to put it as close to the center of the joint as you can, put it right here, and put the top ball right by the head. Click on just the top ball, hit E to extrude, and then right click GZ to move it up and put it in the center of the head as you can. Click on this ball, E to extrude again, G, X, move it to the side, then try to place this as close to the center of the ball joint as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the better it is, the better the model will work. Click on this, hit E again to extrude, try to move it as close as you can to the center, and just repeat this process. Also go into other side views so you can make sure you're still aligned and not just doing it from one angle. So you can see this is looking pretty good. Now we'll do the fingers. Click on the ball, E to extrude, click on this bone, Alt P, disconnect bone. Now you can drag it to the proper location. Once again, try to line it up as close as you can to the center. And do this for the rest of the fingers. Once you've done that, you can also go back here in edit mode and hit delete bones as you don't actually need a bone there. Let's so go here, E to extrude, and then hit Alt P. Disconnect bone, move it to the leg position as best as you can. Then repeat the same process with the arms and just line up the joints. Now for the harder part, which will be rigging the wings in the back here. Click on this bone once again, 7 to go in the above view, E to extrude, then Alt P to disconnect the bone. Try to line this up as best you can. Then just the same thing you've been doing, lining it up in the correct place. Just get this as close to the thing as possible for this one. You might want to move this a little bit back so that it doesn't interfere with these bones. E to extrude. Click on the bone, Alt P to disconnect bone. Move it to the right place. You can use R to rotate it so you don't have to move each piece individually. Okay, looks pretty good to me. I'm going to move this to the end so I can see it better. One to go back to front view. So you can see this isn't actually lined up, which is why it's important to go into multiple views to make sure you're actually aligned. Hit Shift D to duplicate, GZ to move it down, Shift D, GZ. Just repeat that until you have all of them connected. Now click on one bone, back into above view 7. Uh, whoops, click on the head, then go into 7, hit G, and move it to the end. Repeat this until you've done all of them, so that they are actually aligned with their intended little wingtip. Okay, with that, the entire right side should be completely rigged. Well, it has bones at least. Now what we need to do name all the different bones. Click on the bone tab, and just go down the line naming them. It's gonna be the head, torso, you got the drill. It's gonna speed past this part. Okay, now that that's done, you're gonna select all the bones on this side just by dragging your mouse. Actually, you can select all of them. Go up here to armature, go to names, auto name left, right. Then you're going to go to symmetrize, and it should mirror the rig perfectly so that you don't have to do the other side, which is really useful and saves a ton of time. 
And as you can see, they all have names depending on which side of the body they're on, which is perfect. Now is the hard part, unfortunately, where you have to actually parent all the parts of the awesome mech to your rig, which is not going to be fun, but let's get into it. What you're going to want to do is start on a leg maybe, or an arm, it doesn't really matter. Just pick one side and select as best you can all the parts to one that will be attached to one bone. I'm trying to get the foot bone, but as you can see, this is the hardest part, so you have to select just the right stuff. Once you've selected it, you can hit G. Make sure you got everything that you need to, even the rig. Then hit Control Tab to go into pose mode, which lets you click on the bone that you want to parent it to. Hit Control P, parent to bone. Now you should be able to use R to move it, and it will actually move the bone, unlike this side which hasn't been parented yet. So now you repeat this process for the entire thing. Unfortunately, there's no mirroring process. So you have to do it for each of these limbs individually. Do this a couple more times just to give a better example. Hit Control Tab to go back into object mode. You can also use this menu to go into pose mode and object mode. When we use the hit W a few times to get the free select tool, you can draw what you want to select. Hit G to make sure you've got everything. Once you've got it, shift click on the rig, hit Control Tab or go up there to hit pose mode. Click on the bone you want to parent it to and hit Control P and click on bone. Now they should both be parented to it and move individually. I'm just gonna continue this process for the rest of the mech. So you got everything, it's all good. Shift click, control tab, control P, parent to bone. Now this whole leg is rigged. Now I'm gonna do a quick time lapse before I do the rest of this. So see you in a second. Okay, and with that, your entire object should be rigged. You should make sure that everything moves properly, it's all connected, everything's attached, and there you go. You now have a rigged LEGO object, for the most part. It's pretty much all there is to it. You can do some other fun stuff if you want. What I like to do is change the display of the bones from octahedral to stick, because I think it makes them a lot easier to control and manage while you're animating. You can also add more control bones. Change it back to octahedral for a second. If I go back into post mode or agate mode with E, click on this bone, E, G, Z, extrude, Alt P, disconnect, and G, Z, move this to the base as best you can, this foot level. I think we need to be in agate mode. Click on this bone, then shift click on this bone, control P, keep offset. And now, if we go back into pose mode, what should happen is this still works, but if we use this, it allows us, oh, missed a piece there. It allows us to move this from this point instead of just here, which is awesome. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can actually constrain the rotation of certain bones so that they only move in certain directions, which can be very helpful for animating. For example, this head, if it was a real Lego, it would only move on this axis or the Z axis. But because it's in Blender, it can move in any direction. So how we change that is by pressing N if it's not pulled up, going to item, then rotation, and then just play around until you find the axis that works. <laughs> Looks like I got it first try. So now it will only move in that direction. You can do this to all the bones if you want them, only want to move certain ways. I think this. So now it only go in certain directions, which can be useful for things like the wingtips or other small objects that are constrained by an actual Lego hinge piece. And now, you should be able to rig any LEGO object in Blender successfully. For the legs, you might want to make IK legs, which basically lets you move this bone, and they will, instead of having to do forward kinematics, where each bone controls the one in front of it, you could control the end bone, and then when you move this, the entire leg moves. But I'm not smart enough to know how to do that, so I'm going to link a tutorial of someone explaining it better. Hope this has been helpful and that you've enjoyed, and if you want me to make any other LEGO tutorials, let me know. Peace!